Welcome back to the channel, fishing family. Spring's around the corner. Got that pre-spawn going. We're still a little cool here in the Northeast. Our waters are still a little cold, but we are just a weeks away really from our pre-spawn probably kicking in. I'm trying to get back on that horse, jumping back in feet first. You guys know what time of the month it is. Get ready to check out that Monster Bass box for the month of March and the Mystery Tackle Box Pro. Let's uh, see what we got for uh, pre-spawn fishing. Let's get at it. Okay guys, in no particular order, we're gonna uh, start off with the Mystery um, Tackle Box Pro for the month of March. And for those of you who haven't watched any of my videos before or other videos that's online um, that don't know what Mystery Tackle Box is, so Mystery Tackle Box is a monthly uh, subscription box filled with uh, terminal tackle and new baits and lures um, to help you discover um, new baits and lures if uh, you're new to fishing and if uh, you're already into fishing it gives you a good selection of variety of baits lures and some terminal tackle that you may not have um, used before so it's a good way of discovering um, new lures new tackle new baits um, every month, um, it comes with um, a monthly newsletter or pamphlet called The Dibble. And usually in here, you'll find um, some good tips and tricks uh, related to um, stuff in the box and just some overall um, uh, fishing uh, tips and tricks. They also usually have um, a puzzle in here and sometimes there are monthly giveaways and discounts. Um, but overall, The Dibble is um, a pretty good uh, read every month. So that's your dibble. It also comes in the box is usually a, a card that gives you a description of everything in the box. So uh, let's check out what we have in here for the month of March. So first up we have the uh, Lunker Hunt Easy Prey. There we go. So Easy Prey by Lunker Hunt. So this is a nice looking uh, swim bait. Let's see if we can get some specs on it. It's got double, uh, it's got double trebles. Um, and the specs are, this is, is the Prey 102 called the Easy Prey. It's a, a, a three inch bait, weighs a uh, half an ounce. So pretty good looking bait. It's in uh, silver with a little uh, chartreuse. I hope the uh, camera's picking that up. And this uh, retails for $9.99. Then next up we have for I'm a, <laughs> I'm a suspending vibration. Uh, that's a new one for me. So we have a uh, flat side crankbait. And um, this is called the Suspending Vibe 70, and the color is called Silver Ling. This is actually pretty good bait for this time of year while the water is still cool. Um, and this also, double treble hooks. Um, it doesn't say whose treble hooks on it. But this is from Ima Lures, and this is, again, the Suspending uh, Vibration the lure is called uh, the Vibe 70, and the color is in Silver Ling, and this bad boy retails for $9.99. Next up from 10,000 Fishing. So 10,000 Fishing actually makes some pretty good stuff. Um, I've used a lot of this stuff. So here's 10,000 Fishing. Um, this is their Cycle Bait, their Underspin. Um, I've actually uh, used this before. Um, and this is a, a, a pretty good uh, underspin. Again, I hope the camera's picking that up. From 10,000 Fishing. This is in chartreuse and white and with the three-odd hook. And it looks like a silver willow blade. I can't see, I, I can't see the blade, um, but it's silver. And again, 10,000 Fishing. And that retails for 
Then we have from Zone Lures. No, actually it's X Zone. Um, and this is the X Zone. Uh, this is the Adrenaline Cross. I've actually have several packs of these, um, at least in my area. I'm in the Northeast uh, in New Jersey. Um, this color works great um, for us, um, especially uh, in the lakes or ponds um, uh, here in Jersey. So I've used particularly uh, the Adrenaline Claw and this color uh, several times and uh, it's always been good. So this is the green pumpkin uh, with the blue flake. Um, I've also have this in a couple of other colors. And like I said, these from X Zone, their Adrenaline Claw works um, really well, at least in my area. Um, this retails for $5.99 and there are six of, of these craws in the pack. So pretty good value. Um, the other thing I like about them, they have the, uh, you guys can't, I'll, I'll take, um, I'll take one out. These, these, um, have the uh, slit in it as well to help the, uh, to help the hook come through. So it, uh, improves the, uh, hookup ratio, um, as well. So I hope you guys are seeing that on the camera. So again, really good bait from X zone, the adrenaline claw 599. So from Biwa, now this is new for me. I never heard of these guys. This is their scorpion tail. And uh, let's see if I can get some specs on this. This is in green uh, pumpkin. This is the uh, scorpion tail four. Um, so this is about a four inch uh, bait, soft plastic. So here's a, like a paddle tail bait. And this retails for $5.99, and this is a pack of eight. And this is from, again, Bio, uh, Bi, Biwa, Biwa. So this is the first time I've uh, seen these guys. Um, I'm not sure if this is the first time they've been in a Misty Tackle box. And this is their four inch scorpion tail and green pumpkin. And last but not least from Cream or Cremalores, this is the Pro Series Spoiler Lizard. And this is in June Bug. This is in June Bug Red. Of course, the wind decided to pick up now that I'm filming. And this is a pack of four. Um, I'll uh, take this out for a quick look. So this is in June Bug with some red and green flakes. I don't know if the camera's picking up the red or green flakes. Um, and this is, again, a soft plastic lizard from, I don't know if it's Crema or Creme Lures. And these guys retail for $1.69, and there is four in the pack. So not bad for $1.69. I'm not a huge fan of uh, soft plastic lizards. I, I haven't personally have any uh, much success on them, but I know uh, other people that fish them and are successful with them. So I'm pretty sure it's the angler, not the bait. And then the sticker of the month <laughs> is a octopus fighting a fish from catch Cup. so they always have great stickers every month and then let's see what's in here okay and then there's a feature card on the um 10 000 fishes uh underspin on their uh cycle cycle bait underspin so that's everything in the box for mystery tackle box for the month of march not a bad haul and uh, let's uh, check out the Monster Bass box for the month of March. Okay, so here's the Monster Bass box for the month of March. Similar to the Mystery Tackle box, Monster Bass is a, a, a monthly subscription box um, that uh, sends you a variety of baits and lures and terminal tackle. They also have a, a monthly like newsletter or pamphlet or magazine in the box. It gives you some uh, all around fishing tips and usually some information on um, the lures that are contained in the box for the month. Uh, let me see if I have the, uh, 
the description card in here as well. That, let's see, maybe it's in a pamphlet. Um, that has all of the uh, retail pricing on the baits that's included in the box. All right, I can't find it. I'm sure it's in here somewhere. Um, again, I'm uh, getting back on the horse. So this is my uh, first uh, Monster Bass versus Mystery Tackle box in quite a while. So let's uh, just go with it. I'll uh, post the uh, retail value of these in the video um, when I put it up. I'm, I'm sure I'll find a card. So first up is a square bill, quaint, uh, square bill uh, crankbait from Monster Bass. This is the Hammerhead 1.5 Silent. This is the Alex Rudd edition. Um, if you guys don't know who Alex Rudd is, he's a pretty cool uh, YouTuber, kayak fisherman. He actually just bought a new uh, bass boat too. I just saw that video. So he's super psyched about his new boat. But you should go check out his uh, channel on Alan Rudd, uh, Alex Rudd Fishing. Um, this is uh, length is two and three quarters. This is seven uh, sixteenth ounce, and this is called Farkas. Is the Farkas is the color? So this is um, like a, a, a orange and black, so almost like uh, like a crawfish, like that burnt orange of a crawfish. And again, I don't have um, the retail price on this right now because I don't have the uh, card with it. But first up, Monster Bass. Uh, sil uh, square bill crankbait hammerhead 1.5 silent. Next up is the from Missouri. This is the one knock sound. So they also have flat side crankbait. Um, this also has a knocker in it. Let's get the specs on this guy. This is two and five eighth inches. It weighs uh, f uh, five eighth ounce. And this is called the rattling vibe. And this is in sinky. I can't make out that color. I can't make out the color, but it's like a, it's almost like a shiner color. So I'll, I'll put it up to the camera, you guys can see it. So it almost looks like a shiner. Um, so this will do, again, this is a pretty good bait to throw this time of year, um, especially here in the Northeast where the water is still cool and, and warming up. So again, from Missouri, this is uh, the rattling vibe. Um, it also has a knocker in it, uh, two and five eighths. Um, inches in length and five eighths ounce weight. Next up from Missile Baits, uh, so we also have some uh, craws in the box um, on the Monster Bass box. This is from Missile Baits. This is called um, their Baby the Bomb, uh, and the color is called OJ Supreme. So let's uh, let's take this out. Let's get a good look at it. So this again, this looks like a, a pumpkin. It looks like it has some pink and green and red uh, flake in it. I don't know how much of the that's being picked up on the camera. Um, and it looks like there's a, I think there's like six of these guys in here. Uh, yeah, so quantity of six. So this is uh, from Missile Base. This is called the Baby the Bomb. Um, your, your normal beetle or um, uh, beetle style of a style bait and um, quantity of six. Then from Rage, their classic uh, Rage tail. So this is their their cut worm, and let's see the color. This is called uh, I think it's uh, T E T E Q, which is probably short for Tequila Sunrise. It's the color and. Uh, you guys have fished worms. Everybody knows about the rage tails. This is a, a really good worm. I've fished this many times. This also does well in our area. I actually love this color, um, especially for when the water is a little uh, muddy. Um, so it's got like a dark um, or black with a red flake uh, on the top and sort of like a purpose, purplish um, on the belly. So nice color. Um, what's the count here? This is a pack of six, and this is a, a seven inch um, bait. So 
not bad. Um, this is from Strike King. Um, their rage tails are great um, plastic worms. I love fishing these guys. The next up from, um, I think this is a company name, Switchblade. So this is a Switchblade. So these are blades to go on. So there's a one, two, three. Oh, this is pretty cool. So you could take a jig or anything and attach these um, these switch blades onto. There's uh, three of them in here. They're in the large gold color. So this is pretty cool. This is actually the first time um, I've actually seen these in a box, and I, I really I really like them. So I uh, this is from Queen Tackle. So I definitely will be um, trying these out and throwing these on um, some of my jigs. And lo and behold, from Queen Tackle, there's a tungsten jig in the box. So this will be a perfect pairing with their, their switch blades. Uh, let's get some specs on this. So this is a 3 4 ounce um, football jig. It's got a nice skirt on it. it looks like an orange and black skirt on it and again this is also from uh, Queen's Tackle. So the jig looks like it's pumpkin and then it's got a, a black and orange or a black and burnt uh, orange skirt on it. Then from Monster Bass you have uh, a Tungsten Pro Pack. So this is the pro Tungsten Pro Pack. So it looks like uh, I want to say a quarter ounce Tungsten with um, some beads and some stops in their Pro Pack from Monster Bass. So this is, this is good. Yeah, it's a quarter ounce. So nice, uh, everything you need in there for like Texas rigging. Then um, from Mustad, you have some three and four out hooks four in a pack, so I'm assuming there's two three out and two four out hooks in here. So that's from Mustad. And then also from uh, Monster Bass, you have their sticker of the month, which is uh, a monster with a monster bass. So there you go. And it's just a card. So. That's everything that's in the Monster Bass box for the month of March. So you got the Mustad hooks, three and four out, four count. You got from Queen uh, Queen's Tackle, you got their switchblade bait, uh, switch blades. You also from Queen's Tackle have their football jig and pumpkin with a uh, black and uh, orange skirt, and that's in three fourths ounce. You got um, from Strike King their Rage Tails. Uh, this is a seven inch, uh, and this is in their tequila sunrise color. You got from Monster Bass, uh, tungsten, uh, quarter ounce weights for, and, uh, um, beads and stops for Texas rigging. You have from Missile Baits, you have the Baby De Bomb and their OJ, uh, Supreme color. Also from Monster Bass, you have their square bill crankbait and this is in Farkas. This is uh, three, uh, two and three fourths in length, seven sixteenth, uh, uh, seven sixteenth ounces. And last but not least from Missouri, you have their Rattle and Vibe with the one knocker. And uh, I think the color is uh, Pelagian. And this is in um, a length of two and five eighths and the ounce is five eighths ounces. So two, I'm sorry, two and five eighths inches is the length and um, five eighths ounces. So that's everything in the uh, Monster Bass box for the month of March. So you have your Monster Bass and your Mystery Tackle Box. Hey guys, thank you for sticking around with us. I know it was a little rough. This is uh, my first video back in a while. Um, so you had the uh, Monster Bass and the Mystery Tackle Box for the month of March. I think 
my favorite um, this month was uh, the Monster Bass. But you guys let me know in the comments which box you preferred, which box you think had the uh, better offerings um, for the month of March. Um, again, hope everybody's getting ready to get out there on the water. I'm sure some of you in some parts of the country are already out there because you guys have much warmer weather than us. But we're really just getting geared up um, here in the Northeast. Um, I think our trout season is opening in a couple of weeks. I think the first day of uh, trout season is either April 9th or April 10th. So we're gearing up for that. And uh, looking forward to, like I said, um, putting more content out, uh, getting back in that groove, and most importantly, um, getting out on the water. So everybody stay safe. Hope everybody's doing well. And uh, hope to see you soon. Tight lines.